Howdy champs, my name is Mohit. Uh, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make vertical as well as uh, as well as uh, horizontal groups in uh, tables while working with tables, right? Uh, let's start guys and understand uh, what I mean by vertical and horizontal groups. Okay, so this area on the left hand side is the uh, code area this is the design area and I'm in the split view guys also have a note that I'm in the classic workspace first things first let me save the file up <coughs> let me call it uh, uh, my table right or my table groups cool okay uh, let me give it a title as well okay let me then insert a table let me say table and uh, let me go with the three rows and three columns okay let the table width be let's say 400 <coughs> I'm fine with the border thickness of one cell padding of two I don't want any cell spacing but if I don't want any cell spacing guys please don't leave it empty keeping it empty and keeping it at, at zero are two different things let me skip the caption and the summary Summary is only for the screen readers, does not affect the way the table appears. Okay. Caption is just like the heading for the table. Uh, at least for this tutorial, I'm skipping it. Let me say okay. Right. So we have a table out here which has three rows and three columns. Cool. Right. <coughs> now, guys. Uh, we can group the table horizontally as well as vertically uh, let's let's start doing it then okay let me first of all crunch or collapse uh, this code right you see uh, just after the opening body tag guys we have the opening table tag okay and then we have the tr tags one tr tag the other tr tags basically basically tr stands for table row okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna insert call group tabs now let's see what they actually do i'm gonna hand code it now sorry so I'm gonna say call group okay and then I'm gonna use the span attribute guys and then I'll say two after which I'm gonna say style let me say background color this time I'll explain in a moment what exactly is going on out here and uh, let me say beach that's the background color okay and a width of uh, let's say mm, let's say 125 px after which let me close the tag up guys let me go to the live view and show you exactly what has happened All right so now call group actually creates a group of columns it brings uh, groups of columns together when I say span when I use the span attribute I'm telling a uh, dream weaver that I want you to cover the first two or span the first two columns okay by default you don't need to actually use the span attribute the span attribute is by default set to one that's one single uh, column uh, but out here if I need to change that I can enter a different value so span means that it's covering a distance or spanning a distance of the first two columns that's a two right <coughs> and then uh, using inline styles guys the style attribute uh, I want that the background color should be a, a, a beach that which is a very mild greenish kind of a color I'm also setting the width for the only for the first two columns to be uh, 125 pixels and if you have a look guys uh, these first two columns are now just that wee bit uh, shorter in width uh, versus the last uh, column 
okay right now let me copy this much and uh, let me paste it just under it so I'm creating yet another uh, call group guys but this time I will not be using the <coughs> span attribute and when I don't use the span attribute uh, in effect it means that I want it to span just one column as far as the background color is concerned instead of beach let me go with bisque okay and uh, let me completely do away with the width that's because whatever width is left I would want it to be allocated to the last column okay uh, let me come off the live view go back in again and uh, let's see how it has actually affected the table right uh, but there's, there's something that is not quite right let me just check so that's a call group opening tag you have a closing uh, out here alright okay need an inverted quotes out here guys need inverted quotes out here okay now that makes more sense so basically using the call group uh, tag the first two tags I've, uh, I made sure that they have a background color of beach okay I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly and the last column which is 400 minus 125 into 2 so whatever is left width wise is given to the third column okay and it has a background color of bisque instead of beach okay so okay let me come with the live view guys at the moment I come with the live view you can actually see there are there are no colors at all given uh, to this table let me feed in uh, some values just any values as actually so whatever okay mm. <coughs> hmm. right so just about anything guys all right S and now let me come with the live view let me select the table right click and uh, let me hit the edit uh, tag after which guys what you can do is you can click on this drop down menu and you can choose groups I'll tell you what will happen and uh, see under the rules I've chosen groups and uh, let me then say ok let me take you to the live view first right now guys uh, have a look out here since I had used call groups the table was actually divided into vertical groups ok and when I want that the rules should affect only the groups just the way I had done a little while ago you can actually see that the first group has a background color of beach uh, the second group which uh, has a background color of bisque okay so what has happened here exactly is that the table has been divided into groups and the internal rules have been affected only to the groups that has exactly what has uh, transpired here anyways so this is how you actually create vertical groups now how would you actually create uh, horizontal groups let's check that too right <coughs> sorry what I can do is let me select uh, the top row okay just by clicking on the left edge like this after which guys I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say wrap tag okay I'm going to enter T head out here. I'm going to divide this table into T head, T body, and T foot. Now, using the T head, the table head, the T body, the table body, and the T foot, the table foot, I'm going to divide the table into uh, divisions. 
but horizontal divisions or horizontal groups okay so after I write T head out there I'm gonna hit enter twice so that's a one and a two okay if you have a look in the code area guys the first or the top TR opening and the closing tags have been encapsulated by the T head opening and the closing tags lines 12 and 18 have a look out here okay so the top row has been encapsulated by the T head opening and the closing tags cool next guys I'm gonna select the middle row okay clicking on the edge like this and then I'm gonna right click on the um, the table I'm gonna say wrap tag T body this time okay hit enter once and twice right and uh, let me show you the code area once again okay, okay. so um, the T body opening and the closing tags as in line number 19 and 25 are encapsulating the middle row cool and uh, likewise I'll do with the bottom row okay select the bottom row by clicking uh, here on the edge the left edge okay I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say wrap tag and this time T foot for table foot so that's enter once and twice okay and uh, similarly the T foot opening and the closing tags have encapsulated the third or the bottom row right okay uh, let's go to the live view and see what exactly has happened so guys the rules that you see or the lines of the rulers that you see have affected all the groups whether they are horizontal groups or uh, or vertical groups so because it has affected the the call groups you see this uh, vertical line and since it has affected uh, the table horizontally through the T body T head and the T foot opening and the closing tags these uh, horizontal rulers or rules appear right let me come with the live view guys and uh, let me go right click on the table and say edit tag and this time guys see the rules or the the lines are affecting the groups right now okay and as far as the frame is concerned now frame actually controls the outer border so I'm gonna say void now and then I'm gonna say okay and then I'm gonna take a live view guys right so guys this small table actually shows you how you can actually divide a table into vertical groups uh, with the help of call group opening and closing tags and horizontal groups using the T head the T body and the T foot uh, opening and the closing tags uh, so guys I, I hope you enjoy this tutorial I hope you liked it too and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Strip 3 tutorial. You have a very good day guys. Bye bye. Peace.